Game highlights are brought to you by Verizon. The better network. Verizon. Better matters. Still scoreless. A minute 45 in. Barry front court right wing. Now we'll push it to Pinson quickly. Jackson left sideline. Bounce pass left baseline to Hicks. Faces up. Now he's going to try and back in. Caught. Nothing there. So we'll kick it back out to Pinson. Nice pass right corner to Jackson. Open for three. Got it. Rattled around and fell home. Well, good post entry pass. Not a whole lot of offense so far. Just 3-3 three, three between the Tar Heels and Panthers. So, and Tar Heels have three offensive rebounds. The quick dump inside to Meeks from Hicks. Scores underneath the basket. Right back in the corner, right to Barry. Gets a screen for an open three. No good. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Hicks. Carolina works it around to a wide open Pinson for the triple. Boy, and Pinson picking up now. It's now six point fit lead. Britt. Boy Williams yelling, move the ball. Barry ends up with it right corner for three and knocks it in. That's a big one. It felt like Joel had had a couple of looks that didn't drop. Carolina down one, 17-16. May hands off to Barry, has the much larger young guarding him. So he drops it down low to May, double team there, back out to Barry, his three, good. I tell you, Barry, his two threes have been pretty darn deep. Pinson. Lobs the pass to Meeks on the left baseline. Spins away from traffic and hits the little hook shot. What a nice offensive move by Meeks. Yeah, he's really playing well. But Bradley and Meeks, obviously Bradley the only one in now, but both of those guys have done a really nice job of keeping the ball alive. Tariel shooting just 36% from the field, but Bradley will add to that with a 15-footer on the left baseline. Bounce pass to Bradley, right back to Jackson. Five on the shot clock for Jackson. Shot clock getting really low now. Deep three by Jackson. Are you kidding me? Wow, what a shot by Justin Jackson. Uh, Bradley came to the high post. Great box out by Jackson. Oh, but he couldn't earn the rebound. Artis gets it, puts it back up. No, now Barry pulls in the board. Heels on the run. Up by five. Barry, front court right side. Loops a pass over to Jackson deep on the left. He'll bounce it to May. Baseline left and gets the layup to go. First bucket for May makes it 35-28. Whips it over deep left to Jackson, now left corner to Barry. Couple of dribbles, fumbled the ball, gets it to Jackson. Whips a pass to Meeks, misses the layup, but then gets it right back and pokes it up and in. Did a nice job, had a lot of contact on his forearm on that first shot. Barry deep on the right, penetrates to the free throw line, out to Jackson, a guarded three, yes! Boy, he can make them from anywhere! I'm gonna tell you something, that was an incredibly tough, tough shot. The Tar Heels will take their largest lead of the game into the halftime locker room. 40 to 28 the score. Barry streaks front court. He'll stop on the right sideline and set the heels up into their offense. Pinson drops it left block to Hicks. Doesn't have a field goal today until now as he spins to the cup and lays it in. Well, we haven't seen that out of him today. Drives to the free throw line, bounces it back out middle of the court to Barry. Gets it to Hicks right of the lane, one-on-one -on -one with Jones. Isaiah spins through the double team off the glass. Give him two in the foul. Boy, what a move by Hicks. Yeah, it was a great move. The, the top wing double team that came down. Gives it to Jackson. Shirt tails popped out. That's Justin looking inside this pit zone. He's going to pull up for a quick three. Yes, I'm nothing but you, net. There was very little daylight. That was a la the last shot of the, of the half. May tips the rebound to Jackson. Heels are on the run. Jackson. Four on three, finds Barry left side. He'll drive baseline and lay it home. Well, he made the turn on that baseline. He was headed right towards where you thought that he was going to be underneath the basket. 55-41, Tar Heels have matched their largest lead. Pinson in the middle of the floor, lobs a pass down low to Bradley, keeps it high and flips it over the front of the rim. 16-point Carolina lead. Pass on the right baseline to Pinson. He'll dribble it out and reset. Just more effort rebounding from Carolina. Barry drives right of the lane, scoops it up over Artis for two. You know, Barry getting to the rim. Young drives to the rim and goes up and under for two. Young is aggressively driving anytime Hicks is guarding him. Oh, what a pass by Pinson in transition to Bradley who throws it down. Carolina, on the other hand, has turned the ball over five times this half. Good pass down low to Meeks. He goes up and under from the left side for two. Jackson drives right baseline, tried to go up and under, had it blocked by the bottom of the backboard, somehow got it back, goes out to Barry, wide open for the triple. I'm not sure how Jackson got the ball back. We were screened off of it. Brandon just lost his own dribble, and Pitt took it away, although by saving the ball, 
Robinson dives to the floor to earn the possession and ends up to Jackson, who throws it down over Nix, who has nothing to say this time. 5-10 to go. Barry, step back three over Young, is way short, right in the hands of Jackson, who flips it up and in. Even when he doesn't mean to, Jackson's making it happen. Every time I see when he pitches it up there, it's such an impressive shot. Justin Jackson gets the steal, and he's also going to try transition three. Wide open, what do you think? I'll tell you, that kid's got his confidence at a career high. This has really been quite a complete game by Carolina. The only place that they've been at all deficient and they haven't had to get there tonight is just getting to the foul line. And then Pitt is shot Oof. as a quick interior pass to Meeks, who's just uncontested right in front of the rim. Carolina burning some clock up by 20. Pinson to Hicks for the easy dunk. He's got seven big fella and eight for the ballgame. 85-67 the final. The Tar Heels improved to 25-5 overall, 13-3 in conference play. They have locked up a double bye in the upcoming Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament and assured themselves of, at worst, a tie for the regular season championship.